What is up YouTube and welcome back to my channel, Jess Nicole here. In today's video, we're gonna be doing an upper body stretching video. Your girl is super sore. I have been in the gym for five days straight this week, so that is what inspired this video. I wanted to do a upper body stretch. My lats are sore from doing back day. My chest is sore from doing chest, shoulders, and triceps. So I wanted to just get on the mat today and stretch it out with you guys. So if you're feeling like I'm feeling, then this workout routine or this stretch routine is for you. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at the Jess Nicole, at Jess Right Fitness. And let's not forget TikTok at the Jess Nicole. And with all that being said, go ahead and grab your yoga mat and let's get started. So we're going to start in child's pose. So let's go ahead and put our toes together, take our knees wide and bring your chest down to the earth here. Mm, big stretch here. Ooh, I'm already feeling this in my lats. Deep breathing here. If you want to go a little deeper into the triceps, you can bend your elbows and bring your hands to the top of your shoulders. This is just getting a little deeper into the triceps. Just a little modification here. We're going to stay here for a few moments, so really focusing on the breath. Take this time to set an intention for your practice. What brings you to the mat today? Is it to increase your range of motion? Is it to decrease muscle soreness and tension? Or maybe it's just to get a clear head, just to become one with your body. Yoga has that effect that can oftentimes just bring us back to being peaceful and centered. So sometimes when I have a lot going on, I make time to just come to the mat and just be one with my breath and my body. So we're gonna take a little side stretch here. Let's walk your hands to the left side of your mat. Mm, same child's pose. You should feel this a little bit more on that right side. I like to close my eyes when I do yoga because I think it helps to bring my senses to my body. So when you kind of cut off that distraction of what you're seeing, you kind of have no choice but to just feel, really feeling your muscles relax with each deep breath. And walking the hands to the right side of the mat. So feeling this in that left side body. On your next deep breath, let's go ahead and walk it up onto all fours. Let's come into all fours into tabletop position. We're going to take a few cat cows here, just opening up the spine, warming up the back and the upper body. So exhale around the spine, tuck the chin. Inhale, drop the belly. Gaze comes upward, shoulders back. And again.
Let's go ahead and take your right arm upwards. Maybe bring it towards the front, towards the back, just opening up that shoulder socket. And let's go ahead and thread the needle, bring it on through. Bring the shoulder to the ground, bring your right cheek to the ground. Take this left hand and bring it behind you. A nice little twist here, getting into those shoulders. If you're feeling any tension, any uncomfortableness, remember to always bring it back to the breath. One more deep breath here. Exhale, let's unwind, come back into tabletop, and we'll switch sides. So, taking that left arm up, same thing, move it from front to back, kind of windshield wiper it, just really getting into that socket. You might even hear it in your joints. And again, go ahead and thread it on through, coming on to that left shoulder, left cheek comes to the mat, right hand comes behind. Gonna take about three deep breaths here. So go at your own pace. On that last breath, let's come back into tabletop position. Oh, go ahead and shake it out here. Have some organic movements, maybe swaying the hips, coming down onto the arms, whatever feels good to you. We're just warming up the whole body here. Do some circles. And of course, make sure you go back the other way. Let's go ahead and fold down onto our cobra position. Come all the way onto your belly. We'll just lay flat here. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, push up into cobra. Back down. This time, let's push up into upward facing dog. back onto your belly now we're gonna get into the chest so let's take your left arm extend it outwards take your right foot and go ahead and turn over oh good chest stretch getting really into that chest and that shoulder on the left side here to the belly and we'll do the other side so right arm extends outwards left foot comes over and turn on over this is one of my favorite stretches coming 
back onto the belly. From here, let's push up into puppy pose. So hips are gonna come directly over the knees and then you're just gonna bring your chest down. This is great for the arch in the back. I feel this all through my lats. I'm sure you guys do too. This is a great stretch after a back day workout. On your, last, on your next breath, let's go ahead and come into a seated position. Go ahead and cross the legs, right in front of the left, left in front of the right, whichever feels good to you. And we're gonna go into the triceps now. So let's go ahead and take your left arm, bend it over, bring your right hand to your left elbow and just pull. I'm sure you guys have done this stretch before. I think this is one of the first stretches we learn in elementary school. Great for the triceps. Go ahead and shake it out. Let's do the other side. So right hand comes up. Left hand comes to right elbow. Give it a nice tug. On your next exhale, go ahead and release. Take our right hand, bring it right to the next to the side of us. Take your left hand and bring it over. Good side body stretch. I like to let my elbow come down if that's doable for you. If not, you can stay on your hand. And what's important with this stretch is you don't wanna let your chest come over like this. You wanna make sure you're keeping the chest very open. So if anything, think of bending open more than forward, if that makes sense. <sighs> On your next exhale, let's go ahead and come back up and switching sides. So taking the left hand next to you, I'm gonna come onto my elbow and bringing the right arm upwards. Exhale, let's come right back up to center. We're gonna take your right arm behind you. Let your left arm meet your right hand. And then you're gonna take your head and tilt it towards the left side. This is getting into the right side of the neck, the right traps, the trapezius muscle. I have so much tension in my traps on a regular basis, so I find myself doing this stretch almost every day. So you can see I kind of let my head go forward and backwards in the stretch so that I'm hitting all heads of the muscle here in my neck. Nice and slow movements here. Feeling every stretch. Uh, 
and come back to center. Keep your hands locked together. From here, I like to just look over my shoulder. So look towards your left side and just try to turn as much as you can. With each exhale, go a little bit deeper. A little bit further, I should say. So try to turn your head a little bit further. So we're gonna inhale and reset, inhale. And when you exhale, turn your head just a little bit further. shake it out if you need to I know I need to and from here we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so bring your left arm behind you let your right hand meet your left hand and we're gonna bring our head to our right shoulder just gently rocking it back and forth here center we're almost done guys let's go ahead and meet me on your mat flat on your back in corpse pose so we're going to take a spinal twist here so let's take your right leg and bring it off to the left side of your body and you're going to take your right hand and bring it to the right side There's some cracks here. Don't be alarmed. It's just your spine adjusting. Let's come back to center. Go ahead and bring that right leg back. Maybe shake it out if you need to, to reset. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So left leg comes up, fold it on over towards the right side. Left arm comes towards the left side.
coming back to center. Shake it out if you need to. Bring both your knees into your chest. Give your knees a big hug. This is kind of rocking out that spine. Maybe rock side to side. Giving that spine a little bit of love. And release the knees. Bring your feet together in a butterfly position for your legs. So we're gonna sit here, lay here in a butterfly position. Your bottoms of your feet are touching, knees are kept wide. We're gonna take our hands above our head, similar to what your legs are doing, but you're gonna do it with your arms. So you should look similar to a figure eight here. And this is gonna be the last pose of our practice. You are more than welcome to stay here as long as you like. But I like to consider this as like a full body stretch because we're getting into the hips, we're getting into the spine, the lower back, the shoulders, the chest. Focusing on the breathing here. And again, I'm going to go ahead and end the practice here, but you are more than welcome to sit here for as long as you like. If you love this video, be sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to drop a comment telling me how much you loved it. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.